tents to the local hunt with mother grandma tents pick to up sometimes and swell grandma tents he used to lift her face and tell her she'd say baby grandma understands that you really love that man put yourself in jesus Grandma's hands used to hand me a piece of candy. Grandma's hands picked me up each time I fell. Grandma's hands, boy, they really came in handy. She'd say, Bad it, don't you, with that boy? What you wanna spank it for? Didn't have no apple core. Grandma's hands they used to hand me a piece of candy. Grandma's hands picked me up each time I fell. Grandma's hands, boy, they really came in handy. She'd say, Bad it, don't you, with that boy? What you want? How every flake made me miss spring You were the sun above the white sleep Of Mother Nature's barren wing Every thread I wish for comfort Through every storm I tread on People came and people gone And I was wandering toward a life I'd never know That you come You may have never seen my face before
Whoop scoop wheelie whoop scoop deep deep whoop Knuckles on your door A sound inviting a fire igniting I wish that I could stay a little more In the yard I once was bitter to the cold, my love I once was spitting at the flames December took my will to draw from the well But your springs had made the way through eyes like May And I was
Yo, your thing's red again. I've seen you some bad times. Yeah, you're not col okay. Color's better. Yep. Um, yeah, it went red. Did that red thing again? Right now? No, it did. It did before. You, you just oh. fixed it. And now, you got the shirt is hanging in front of, and oh. it's a uh, it's, it's a in little the way now. It's a little too tall. Oh boy. Can it come down? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I can only see the chin. And then, other than that, it's like it's also blocking uh my screen, picture huh? oh man because it's because you have the layer wise that way when you reach your arm up you're in front of it instead of behind it but um so the key is if you go right about to like where your knee is is good and then yeah if you can drop it down as far as low as it'll go and then pull it towards you that's not bad yeah you can kind of that's like the shoulder you can see the full screen full image of uh Big Jerry. Yep. Uh, turn it a little bit towards the screen, though, for for a straight effect. There you go. It's pretty good. I like it. You could put it right in front of where that like yellow thing is in the front of the table. Might work because then it'd get the maximum like image too. You know what I'm saying? Like we'd see it the best. And I think at that point, you could rise it up a little bit, slight bit towards you. And then, yeah, that's like full image. And then you can rise it up. Now it's got to go up about, you know, two feet. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Except for the you, higher. it is. You want to higher? It needs to. It would need to go higher because it's going. Um, you know the the microphone goes right across Jerry's eyes. There you go. Boom. That height? Yeah, that's actually right on. Like placement too, you can kind of see. It's like uh, you know, could be a guy standing there with no arms. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, it works. That's perfect. <clears throat> In the shadows. In the shadows. In the shadows. No arms. No legs. Old nuns. Nuns arms. All right. So the only thing right now is, are you missing any lights in there? You're good. I'm all out. Oh, yeah, this is your black. Uh, for some reason, fucking backgrounds. You sent me more pictures, and I had to get those. I did send. I sent all kinds of pictures. Yeah, let me see if I can. Uh, I've been sending them. Let me see if I can get a couple real quick. Add them to that. Sent some of the bread line. I'll get them. You and I on there. Yeah, that's right. I saw them. They're good. Well, they're a little black and white, a little, little different themed for the theme we're in oh I sent you the
What'd you say? Yeah, um, I'm opening I my... I sent the one with the lady and on her, on her mask. It's the manganese show. Oh, nice. That's great. Um, okay, here we well, go. You, you said to make more. Yeah, that's great. So I've been making them. But no, when dude, I, they're they're killer. I was when I, I was, see uh, something I like. They're good images as far as uh, um, they're really good images. Yeah, as far as like even if you're like somebody that's just on YouTube doesn't know anything about us, they see the image, it still strikes your your curiosity. Right. Yeah. Oh couple moments late here but that's okay huh I'm uh that was my reply why did I say goth oh it was like an automatic message that oh, was what? funny like when I replied to you it was like there was three things to pick from oh when I just was replying and it, and it gave me like a thing and said yeah that's cool this one's a good one too got him he said got those <laughs> And then I just selected that one to say back to you, like generic response. I was like, I was like, huh? I just sent him. Thanks, buddy. Got him. And got, you're like, dude, that's not him. Like, that was a fake person. Well, I was like, got those. I didn't know. I yeah. I was like, all right. Yeah, even right now. Yeah, at the bottom. Got it. Thanks. Received. Thank you. I don't see anything. Those were the three responses <laughs> I could have given you, without having uh, to type anything. Just select. Ooh, that's a good one. The biker dude. Yeah, it's uh, formatted correctly too, so that's good. Yeah, so everything I, I sent, I stretched them out for you, <clears throat> except for them, the ones I texted. Yeah, you. the 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 mask one wasn't set right. But it is now. Oh, you oh the, you resent it. The one that has the oh okay yep you're right on the lips or whatever yep yep okay yeah I got that's you. that's good for us that's background. Yep. All right, I'm adding all those to the. Uh, to that background or for when you play music and there's no whatever I don't yeah yeah oh dude the untouchable one too yeah that's awesome stuff i saw that and was, I, I was showing gabe the cassette yeah yeah <clears throat> Yeah, these will all be in the background, and then I'm going to hit go right after I get some of these in there. New imagery. You have that one? Copy four? What? Is that something you have? What? Copy number four? Yeah, I have that. Nice. I think that might be like, I think I had one, but it's it's gone. I think I just have like a... Oh, yeah, I don't have that. What do you mean you don't have it? I don't have that one, man. It's your fucking... I don't have that tape. I don't have that tape anymore. Oh. That's like one of the ones I don't have. I remixed it once, so I have oh, some of the things. Oh, oh. But they weren't as good as the as I remember like thinking later that I had too much delays on it and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I got that. That's cool. Up I'd like house. to... I'm going to run it on a uh, on a corrector, you know? Tie dye, tie dye tape. Okay. What is this? Is that you I'm listening to? Yeah. 
<coughs> what okay. happened? I don't know. Uh, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Well, we're uh, just about ready. Full view. The uh, thing with slideshow. One more minute. Huh? I need one. I need one minute. One more minute. Needs another minute. Now what? Now what? Yeah, man. I'm almost there. That's the one minute I need. Oh. Same stupid little spot. Okay. <coughs> All right. Looks good. Everything's looking good there. Check out the Josh Cam. Reds. Get your red rockets on. Oh, you don't like them? No, I like them. No, I didn't say it. I didn't mean oh. to sound like I didn't like it. They're pink. And That's not. Pink. I'm going to go with the uh, Souls of Fire oh, intro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. I guess we're ready. Let's do this. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one, and we're live. Yeah. Ming and Need Show. Guess what day it is? I don't know either. Sonic Garden Radio. Welcome. It's Thursday, the 30th. And welcome to another episode of Sonic Gardens Radio and the Manganeed Show. Welcome. Here we are in our studio in Norwich, New York, running our 46th straight day of, six. of this uh, this podcast uh, on our YouTube channel. Looking to get 1,000 subscribers. So That's all we're looking for. Hit that button and uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe, uh, hit that bell, and... Uh, Join us each afternoon about this time, 4 o'clock, to uh, go over some topics of the day, as well as some uh, banter between the Uwa and I, and uh, of course, Sonic Gardens music like this one you're listening to. 
that was recorded in uh, March of 2017. This is Ben Wayne doing Wishing Well. This was uh, a throw together band. Uh, we'd call it Take One Sessions because uh, we weren't an actual band band, but we would get together and strum out uh, songs. In this case, it was uh, Ben Wayne showing up and playing with me and Chris and Horst Reinheimer on the drums. And Mr. Uwa was in the house that day for uh, many, for all of these. He actually has a whole bunch of uh, recordings of his own, I believe, on like the iPad and shit, don't you? Oh, yeah, they're. Yeah. Great they're on the, uh, the Boognish channel. Oh, yeah. Or the Couple Grateful Boog. What's, your, what's the name of that YouTube uh, channel? Grateful Boognish. Grateful Boognish. 666, I think. A combination between uh, the Ween and the Grateful Dead. What the fucking beat. Yeah. So, yeah, Ben Wayne. Uh, hope to get you back in here real soon. Wayne. In fact, that leads me to uh, say that I'm, uh, you know, Josh related, and I have been talking. Is he related to Bruce Wayne? Or <laughs> Bruce Wayne, yeah. Bruce Wayne and uh, I don't know what other Waynes. Oh. Are but uh, <laughs> back to that, you know, you you sparked that thing uh, saying you wanted to get uh, that you wanted to get Buckshot's <clears throat> brother Benny in here, Buckshot's brother, to uh, do an acoustic set. We're going to do that, it. Um, so basically what I figured is we could set up an Wait. acoustic set, an acoustic uh, setup in front of the lion. Yes. In front of, in front of uh, Ryan's beautiful. Ryan's lion. lion. Ryan's lion that he uh, drew. Yeah, that's uh, the name painted. of his. It's so beautiful, man. It's so wonderful. That's the name so of his first band. And, uh, Ryan's lion. And so in uh, two, so Ryan, if you're listening, that's like the latest idea, man. Let me know what you think about that because, uh. I think what it does is it allows us to highlight that uh, you know beautiful mural. Speaking and, of uh, Ryan, and um, yeah, speaking of Ryan, so yeah, so I'm I'm uh, so right now <laughs> looking for anybody out there listening that wants to do an acoustic set at the Ston- Sonic Garden Studio. Um, at this point, you know we we're thinking that uh, that we can figure out a means uh, to keep everyone, you know clean or whatever so keep them safe one step at a time there wouldn't be a gathering it's just going to be one person showing up um you know in the time frame and uh sticking to the area of uh assignment and we would make sure that that uh that area got clean but either way i mean we're not uh, at the same time you know everybody's discretion is their own right that's yes sir we're into that but it seems like a big a big breakthrough is obviously that uh, when they tested people, what it was it the three thousand tested that ended up being something like twenty percent had antibodies, so it doesn't mean that they are immune, but it means that uh, they were basically left uh, un unaffected. But does that mean that they're still carrying it or? Oh, I don't. You'd have to ask. Um, you see, that's that's the other. Dr. That's Trump like the or one of his, <laughs> yeah. one of his uh, doctors. One of, yeah, they're all over the place. I see them all over the place. There's his, a lot of doctors. His, yeah, representing. Yeah, for sure. Oh, they, they want. Yeah, they so want uh, open up their state. I see a bunch of these. I know some people from California. What um, are we? I uh, guess I'd rather not know them. Probably the way I see them posting. Uh, oh, they're just, they just, well, I mean, not, not that I'd rather not know them, but they're ready to get back to life. Like they're just ready to open it up. But the only thing that they get comparing it to other stupid shit and then it just gets, then it's just stupid to me. Like I get it. Like if you're ready to open up, then just say that, but don't, don't compare it to, don't other start flu. comparing whatever, <laughs> but don't start using these stupid facts that you don't, I mean, you don't know if they're proven or not. Like all these, uh, yeah, like people, yeah, like yeah. that fucking don't video we to, watched yesterday. That's right. another fine example. Don't I've seen someone from out there posting that shit. But if you watch that video and what that guy says, he he basically says though that they're all like the reason the hospitals fucking 
doesn't have as many isn't as full as it was because they got they weeded out those patients because they thought they were going to have an overload which of means, corona right which, which mean, doesn't mean that they if, weren't sitting home suffering and dying under no care or you know the circumstances so if so. they wouldn't have let those other people out the hospital would be overloaded so it's like you have to look at it that way you know what right. I mean? Like if so, there's a bunch of uh, Corona patients there, but the hospital's not overflown, and that's what they wanted to happen: the hospital not to be overflown, where they couldn't handle it. Right. So it seems to me, and your whole uh, the whole flu thing, which is all and great and everything, but if we didn't lock down, what would it be? You know what I mean? Like how many deaths and how. I so, get, you like know, you and, just and I, said, though, about the antibodies, like, so yes, they think other people might have had it, but th those people might have had the asymptomatic and never even had a symptom. Right. So there's that, too. So, um... I mean, or we all could be wrong. But, yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's funny, because it didn't give me where... Oh, shit. Because they put it on that video. What? All I'm going to be able to do is, is say that Warner's it was... Warner's video? Um... Okay, okay. I'm going to jump over this image. I'll give you a second to catch up with it, Josh. All right. Okay. This image is a uh, – it basically breaks down all these uh, viruses over the years. Right. Regardless of, you know, and obviously, as we know, many of them, uh, many if not most, exist. You know, like still can uh, infect people, right? What's well, the only one they didn't? They got rid of like smallpox, uh, smallpox. or something. That's the only reason, dude. Did you hear that? That they went like. But all these things, smallpox, like they're just names, and in the end, they're all viruses. You know, you know, it's like. Uh, so so, <sighs> but let let me run you down because are right. you seeing the skit? Are you seeing it now? The I thing? am. Okay. Mer so. Um. You got the whooping cough. On the left side, you have the deadliness graph, and on the bottom. You have how infectious they are, and the infectiousness. So it, it places all kinds of different things. You know, hepatitis B, uh, E. coli, E. coli, uh, uh, you know, smallpox, polio, and man, without uh, let me see, I can, I think, yeah, right here. So from, and this is just by my memory, but they basically had. Um, they had, they have, or had measles, the coronavirus right about, it's like more contagious than SARS and, um, but less deadly than polio. That was kind of like the, uh, oh. the relatively location. So then you got HIV, for example, is more, uh, contagious than SARS but less deadly, actually. So it's like all these different things. That's what determines the different one. MERS was not very contagious at all, but it was 40% deadly. Ooh. Avian flu, H1N1, or oh, yeah. H, it says H5N1. The avian flu was not very contagious, but it was 60% deadly. Ebola. 70% deadly, more contagious than the avian flu. Typhoid. And then you got HIV. Yeah, wait. Oh, HIV treated was way right. down around the one. Oh, showing that it was basically manageable. Like we said, they've got right. they've got that down. So untreated is 80% deadly, but actually lower on the uh the infectious, but obviously, yeah. You I got mean, salmonella. And you there. got tuberculosis. <laughs> tuberculosis is uh is higher on the contagious, more contagious Very. than HIV, uh more contagious than uh typhoid or SARS or even um rabies. Even this coronavirus oh. is more contagious. So and that one is also up there around sixty percent. Whooping cough, yeah. extremely mm. contagious. They have a vaccine but for it. a one percent chance that you're going to die. Right. So, you know, there are things in comparison, but um, um, yeah, measles is way up there. Extremely contagious. Really, really very low. Measles is extremely contagious, but very, very low on the uh, 
on the death or on the uh, critical scale. Yeah, Is deadliness. It quite deadly. No, it's like point one. Oh. But measles? again, measles, they got a vaccine for Not right? too deadly. Yeah. Not too deadly. Below that line. So the things that are not too deadly are the chicken pox, rhinovirus, Lyme disease, hepatitis Ooh. B, scarlet fever, swine flu, seasonal flu, and... Salmonella. The norovirus, the... Hepatitis vomiting B. Vomiting bug. The vomiting bug. Lyme is, disease. Those are all not too deadly. Right. Scarlet fever, man, that used well, to be deadly, Well, those are the point though, right? one. Those are the point one. So oh. when you get down to, um, you know, like when you get down to e. Coli? the final numbers of this one, is it going to be, is it really going to be more like, oh, it, the only thing is they can't take away of the highly contagious. Right. So when it's, and I don't, was it highly? It didn't, it does, it also was like, uh, I'm a little confused as to how, contagious it is because for me it was like it was in the quite deadly category and this was from the um this was from the bill gates uh thing that was on netflix just got released and they broke it all down and then oh, they, they pulled this up and kind of said which you know there's another crazy thing you got one side of the people saying why is a tech guy involved in that and then it's like well clearly he got involved in that stuff and if you know the history that's more of a business of what he's doing because he gave up that company of right. anything, you know. So basically, he's someone that that got freaked out probably by the numbers and started and the investing his money and so he shit invested like that it. public money, which is what they all those same critiques are saying that people are supposed to reinvest their money and that's how things get done and that's how and he innovation did. and we reach the yeah. So it's like, but then he becomes you know the the next uh, he's the next uh, Soros. He's the next one that they put up there and say that he's a. Uh, you know, like that George Soros is a, uh, you know, a, an old Jewish guy and they try to put pin on him that he's a Nazi and trying to dominate the world. And it's right. like all because maybe of some, uh, Speaking of some Nazis. idea about making the world a better place. I don't even know. You know Speaking of Nazis. Go ahead. Hitler killed himself on this day. Supposedly. We've talked about that, right? What? That there's, um, there's a, there's a whole series on oh. it. There's a whole series on it, man. That what? they uh, when about, they, cons- about about how every all oh. the Nazis. Why can't all, anybody <clears throat> just die in peace? Hundreds and hundreds. Why couldn't he have just shot himself? Why is it always got to be some? Well, why do they got to? It do was that? not his. The it was not the body that they put in whatever. He they burn his ass. The, dude, <laughs> I'm seriously. Just saying, they burnt whole- the motherfucker up. And then, so have you seen this? What I'm talking about? No, but I mean, I it's a uh, they go searching and and everything leads to uh, Argentina. They cremated the fucker, right? and then the the what was it? Uh, the Soviets or the Russians? Uh, they they did not want a. Now I'm getting this from a oh, historian. Shit, sorry, but, so yep. then then they got. Uh, Wait, hardcore history. No, not Dan. Dan nope. Carr. No, he's good though. I I like him and I trust what he says a lot, man. Yeah. It's funny. He released his book, The End is Near, or something like that, right before all this started happening. He had I remember right before Trump got elected, he had a great show about um punching Nazis and how, oh. how that was not like yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. like he, he titled it that. <laughs> he titled that to explain how there is no solution in fighting authoritarianism with like the violence because right. it just ends up coming back. So again, we're like stuck, but then, but then you get put in that thing of it's like, we're going to stand up, you know? Yeah. So they cremated Hitler and then they took his ashes because they didn't want them memorializing him there while they were still over there and stuff like his peep, his so, peeps. So the Soviets pulled it, pulled out his ashes and shit. Um, yeah, but go ahead and tell me what. No, so you're saying that they burned him before they even like left his body. So then they they didn't have... leave his body is what I'm saying. They, okay, they well, burnt his fucking ass. Burn him up. Well, cremated him. Not just they didn't burn like him at a on stake. the spot. Yeah, like because that's not when that's they pull them up. That's not the story that originates like this whole TV series that leads them to Argentina and like the dude's been, you know, uh, trying to trying to find it out and how they. They got the autopsy, and and uh, there was an autopsy. The autopsy, like all whatever it was, but I, I guess I mean I don't know how you autopsy a 
Well, that's why there's got to be one of these one of our one of the things we've heard is off. Well, mine, I mean, like mine, there was a whole store. There was a mine whole TV made about. Comes it. right from the fucking. Because I feel like um, that could have been like a an after excuse, like oh yeah, of course there wasn't a body because we burned it. That's why, and they just put a body in there to like make it so they had something to carry and it wasn't too light. But it was a female body. Maybe uh, that was the truth. Hitler was the first original transvestite. He might have been. Or, he uh, might have been. Transgender. Sorry. So what about his uh, girl that was right there with him? What, she 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 killed herself too. Did did they have her body? It's at, uh, it was Eva or Eva. Braun. They got married right before they killed themselves too, in the bunker there. Yeah, but isn't that it? So they pulled them out and they cremated them in the Chancellery Garden. Um, Yeah. And when the and when the Soviets got there to the garden, they removed Hitler's ashes. Yeah, there's a show. So uh, uh, that's right from that's right. I I mean. Sort of so the there's history, a show called the uh, history man himself, man. There's a so a show called uh, Hunting Hitler. Let me just give you the rundown. History Channel television series based on the hypothetical premise that Adolf Hitler escaped from the from the bunker in Berlin at the end of World War II. How might he have done so, and where might he have gone? So um, yeah, that's just the cell TV show, right? of course. But they right. ended up, but it ended up taking them to. Um, to Argentina. Wait, where, is this the same? Are, is this the same channel that does that? Uh, Vikings. N- well, that's a, yeah, that's a good one. No, <laughs> but, but Oak Island. I'm not sure. Or so, uh, just a couple like overalls on the on the episodes was like, um, uh, so armed with 700 pages of recently declassified FBI documents, 21 year uh, CIA veteran Bob Bear and war crimes investigator Dr. John uh, Sen. Senchic began a worldwide investigation. No, I'm sorry. You know what was really funny just while I'm reading right now? Under yeah. like the like I'm at a science project or something. Yeah. What do you think of uh did you see this this uh Trump one he did about the small business and he and he totally was reading cue cards and uh you know speech writing? And it's just funny to watch the old man sweat. Oh, and then that that reminds me that remember I was telling you about the deposition? That was the one where the the lady asked him to read the like what the charges are. First, she asked him, "Do you know what this case is about?" And he's like, "No, not really. You know, just that you know we want this." And she's like, "Well, can I get you to read lines uh, in the you know in the filing that was given to you about this?" And then it was like, um, you know, he's like, "Well, the print is really small. You know, I didn't bring my glasses and like just trying to get out of it. You want me to read all this?" And they're like, "Well, yeah." And then he's like, "Uh." You know, he basically just wouldn't do it. And then last night to see him like trying to be on his best, Ivanka spoke. You know, uh, did you see it? No. It was like a, it was like one where he was like at the top of like it was a small business loan, the like you know the announcement, and they had certain guests that were small businesses with their stories of I have a hundred employees and we had to lay everybody off, and you know this loan is allowing us to get back and et cetera. It was a um, bullshit video, right? Or bull- yeah, and totally giving money away. So unbelievable, the fiscal irresponsibility of like for, like no forgive, you know, the whole forgiveness loan thing. I think it's great that you're able to pay your employees and that's what it's really all about. But it's also right. like, you know, it's also, um, you know, I'm sure there's some, uh, like we said, scams and things going on that shouldn't. But, right. Um, all right, so... Let, let me just uh I'm gonna skip this over to these pages because I think this is I think this is intriguing is all I'm saying what are we on do now what are you talking about I'm, I'm back to the Nazi thing because I was just saying oh. how uh um okay so uh yeah I just don't see how they're doing an autopsy on a when they know he got cremated well that's why I again I guess you'd have to read the whole thing but there but this is uh armed with 700 pages of recently declassified documents. So I guess I'd like to see like what they uncovered. 
Right. But what I do know is that they um is that what is that they know? went that they uh uh the first stop on their hunt is a small town in Argentina with uh, mysterious Nazi ties and FBI reporter or FBI report places Hitler residing three and a half months after he was believed dead. Oh, Jesus So, like, it Christ. was like a claim of that. You're just, uh, yeah. I'm not one of them guys, man. I don't. You don't. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Well, I mean, no, it matters, I guess. But, I mean, I mean the, there's people that think Tupac's still alive. Like, But there's thing, but there's some odd thing. Now, now, without a doubt, is what, what this discovers is without a doubt that many uh Nazis had escaped from, well, yeah. and they went because they, and knew. they went to this place. They so knew this what was, was going the, on. You know what right. I mean? They knew, like, but Hitler, there's no way he was escaping. That was he that's was the claim. too fucking. Yeah, I I mean I get there's always a chance I guess right. So uh, the reception, the show has been criticized by Variety for capital capitalizing on the American public's fascination with Hitler. To produce a show based on a hypothesis, exactly, while providing no evidence to substantiate the theory, right? The series was canceled after three seasons. They did three seasons of bullshit. This is what I'm saying. They, they, these are the same people that report. Yeah, this was uh, this was from a guy named Tim Kennedy. Was like a big part of it. You know, he was a, a U.S. Army. But History Special Channel Forces. made it right. It was on the History yeah. Channel. I mean, they were they. Like, uh, like you said, they were, they were fine. There was no actual evidence, but the only, when they say no evidence, the one thing I remember them saying was about this body and how the, the, this body, whatever. Yeah. But did they, did they, they never read the part where they burn his fucking ass? I guess I, I guess they didn't. I mean, right, moving on. Uh, well, no, I like, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to, I, I mean, what do you think? No, I, I just, I thought. You don't think he died? I just he got saw burned up? You know what? To be honest, I didn't care enough to care. I didn't care enough to like look that much more into it. Oh. I guess, but I did find it intriguing that um, there was kind of a re, uh, you know, that 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 you can. Yeah, but actually, they always don't. You they can always go wanna... to a South American country, and it's like one hundred percent German speaking German uh, society. Within... Right. Oh yeah, Dion. We were talking about the Dion about that, right? Yes. About oh we did oh, we brought it up. Remember oh, he we were talking about that town the uh we were talking about that one German guy that went there and oh uh, right 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 um yeah I forget his name we even we even knew his name the Germans the German guy all right I got a I got a lighthearted one for you oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> oh you're gonna love this one but you're only gonna be able to hear it where's our buddy Warner man. He'll give us a call, I'm sure. I watched his video last night. I hadn't seen the video. Yeah, and you loved it. Um, oh, you yeah. Loved it. It had dude. a close-up. Oh, he's close-up, right? in like, it's like he does, like, the old man shot when he's talking to the lady. And then he's, like, looking right into the camera, like, got that. All right. <laughs> his background, he's got... <laughs> he strategically placed his background. Oh, Warner. All right. What do you got for me? All right, I got a... Uh, Something fucked up? Yeah, this is real fucked up. Good. You're going to love it. This oh, is yeah. the... Uh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the image over so that it give you a chance to catch up and maybe, uh, you know, you're going to hear it. I wish we could fix something about that. Well, Either way, because uh, you're going to hear it, we gotta you're not going to see yeah, it. So I'm, we gotta get, I got a TV right there. We need to get the TV. Or... I know. We need to like drill another hole in the wall. and oh. That's what we should do is go low with a hole. We and need put a like a hole? pole, yeah, and like just have a a path where we can run cable. Why well, I, I got a cable hooked up to it. You just in your end, you had to do something. You told yeah, but me. it's too short. You gotta go all the way around the corner. If it was all HDMI, but we don't have like a twenty foot HDMI. Oh, you're all right. Oh, you can come out problem. HDMI, but I got it hooked up to the projector cable, like you told me. Remember all that? You don't remember all that? Yeah, that was my bad. Oh, it do, it isn't gonna work that way. Okie dokie. Yeah. So we need a low hole. We need a hole right below the window. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. TV it, it right could at the window with then, HDMI. And then, uh, yeah. I'll bring some dynamite down tomorrow, blow a hole in the wall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, you see this picture on here? What, the American flag with the guy? Oh, God, I just stumbled on. Uh, once again, from a long time back, I uh, remember 
I've told you about the Doug Stanhope uh, fan page I, on oh, Facebook. Oh, I know about that. So this is just one that kind of came across that. And Wait, it's a guy. Good shit. So uh, you're gonna you're gonna see it. you're gonna hear it and then you'll see it after kind of. All right. It'll it'll be good enough. It's screaming in my ear like a band. Oh shit. I fucked that up again. Oh didn't man, I? it's like a Jesus. Huh? Um, Wait, this guy's got a. Oh, this guy's moving. <laughs> I don't hear anything though. Hold on a second. Oh, there's the Trump unity. <laughs> Hold on. He's got. Second. Wait, they got a flow. <laughs> Look at. Holy shit, they got that thing loaded. You see how low that truck is sitting? <laughs> holy. There's more flags on that You're, fucker. I told you you'd like this one. I oh, man. Oh. Where'd it go? How long did they spent fucking with that float? They've had months, though. Oh, They've had weeks. Well, this weeks. is like the Trump. It's some kind of Trump. Oh, unity. we got to see. You got to pull that back off. I can't find it. I don't even know what in the fuck's going on now. That's a good video, man. That guy was getting ready to speak. Does he speak? No, that's it, dude. It's just a there's, clip. There's just a clip? It's no a clip no sound or nothing? It's just oh, a clip of that guy. Bringing um, everything back up. Um, here we go. I got you now. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Unlock it. Yeah. Yeah. From the top. One more time. One, <laughs> it's a remake dokey, of the beautiful everybody. song YMCA, only they use the letters M-A-G-A. And you see a lot of white, of older people trying dancing, to, trying to groove it. All right. And I think it's funny. All right. Who redid that song? <laughs> oh, they got to get Shaka in there to do that one. And I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, M A G A. Um, but that's the best part about it was look they at were just look at them really dancing. <laughs> <laughs> look at that lady. Look at the lady. She got her hat on. She doing the. She see, da- that's why you need to be able to see it while it's live because uh, it would be funny. I do need to see it when it's live. <laughs> I'm like delayed reaction. M A G A. Motherfucker. Uh, hey Warner just uh, chimed in. If oh, he's he listening. Ryan, I'm waiting for say? you because I have a, uh, I actually have a, a clip that I found from uh, Midnight Gospel last night watching. What in the fuck was, is Midnight Gospel? That was overly uh, inspirational, and I just thought that it was a perfect opportunity to share something. And then what's really yeah, cool is that, that is that uh, there's a great song at the end that's about like 30 seconds. And I'm fucking gonna, I'm gonna razor throw that blades in, in your anus. And uh, it's <laughs> Josh. You are. I promise you that you are gonna love this song. This is like oh, all right. Ween. All right. It's like a Ween inspired. Uh, oh. uh, just great song. I love Ween. So I promise you will enjoy the tune. All right. Because I personally did, and uh, it was on the exact same level of the reason like why I was attracted to Ween. Oh, I think they had your boy on the TV last night. Which one? Um, that. The um, what does he call himself? Tom or Thom or Thumb or the oh, dude. York, York Radiohead. Yeah, yeah, man. They had him on the TV, right? What was he saying? No, they had him singing a song. I, I obviously didn't watch it. Oh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know. Oh. I didn't get the note. I didn't get a notice. Well, I didn't get invited. My great brother was fucking knob dicking. He was loving it. No, he flipped around, and then the guy on the <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, knob licking. Knob dicking. I said dicking <laughs> with a D, like D I C K I N. All right. Knob dicking. Knob dicking. Yeah, knob. you know what I mean. You know when you're fucking, you, <laughs> you just keep changing shit. We mm-hmm. both do it. I do. I do it with music, and he does it with the TV. Anyways, right. um, one of those guys. Yeah, either fucking Phelan or Kimmel or some. I don't know. He was on one of them, and they said coming up next. Um, 
York there, Tom. He finished a song that he didn't ha- that he had before and never finished it, but he finished it and then did it on the show last night. Supposedly, oh, is That's- that what he said? He never finished the song. And then they finished it for them. That's what the guy. It was either Fallon or fucking Camel. One of those two bags were fucking. Yo, we got Warner. What do you got? He's making the calls. Oh boy. Doot doot. Live on the Mega Neat Show. Wait, Old wait, wait. Peckerwood himself. Oh, that's you. That's you. Josh could hear you, huh? Okay. Yeah, I could hear him. Can How we he, doing now, Ryan? How we doing now? Can he hear me? I, I can hear both of you. Oh, I hear Warner. And you are in there too, sir. Well, I saw your video last night. I hadn't seen on the it. news. Did no, it go, no, was no, it no, on no, the no, TV? No. I didn't news? see it on the TV. I saw you it on. It on, uh, on the I hadn't Manga needs man. I hadn't seen. Oh, okay. I hadn't seen the video. Cable. I hadn't yeah, seen I don't the have video. Cable. Man, you were real cl- up close and personal, man. Yeah, I didn't. I, you know, I, I, when I saw her do hers, I'm like, well, man, she's like really far away from it. And then I'm watching yeah. all these other people do podcasts, but I had a you limited just, amount of room. Yeah, you did. But they didn't have garbage behind me. <laughs> you yeah. know me, Josh. Think of, think <laughs> of scrolling around my studio and trying to find something. You got that right didn't in front of like. half pegboard and then a little bit of paint. <laughs> yeah, that's my, I, I sat at the table with my, uh, and I was supposed to be, in front of that part of the pegboard. Oh, why did? But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look at the screen because she right. was like, she's like, well, you know, looking at the camera like you're like you're live chatting, and you, you know get... how annoying it is to talk to someone that's looking at their image. Right. Like, they're looking off to like the image of themselves. Right. So I didn't want to be that guy. So I just like I made, <clears throat> I took yellow paint, and I painted a circle on my iPad around the camera. Oh my goodness. I did that a while ago, right? Because it's annoying to people, and like. But you still, you, you did the look, old man it, thing there. You you got real <laughs> close to it, like <laughs> you did like the fifty five year old dudes do when they take those their uh, profile pictures. They get, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got in real close, about. and then you 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 could tell you you were you'd look at the camera sometimes, and then you'd look away on purpose, so you weren't just doing the stare. You <laughs> exactly see. In, in, oh, like, I saw it. I you know damn well like, I like. Yeah, I like, watched where do I look? it. So I just like looked off. I just like looked away. Yeah, you know damn well <laughs> I, I was gonna watch it. Time. I fucking, <laughs> I finally, uh, uh, I had heard the video and shit, but then I watched it last night and I'm like, this guy, fuck your old paint boy. Yeah, oh, I was nervous, man. I thought, I honestly thought that I was just gonna ramble because I had like a lot to say about it, but not really. But, so it's a lot I mean? different. Like, it's a lot different when there's a guy doing the camera work, like when you're on that show, than when you're doing it yourself and you're the only one in the room, basically, right? Yeah, because you, because yeah, it, when other people are filming you, it's fine. Right, but when you're Someone in walks control of the camera and be like, right. yeah, I'm like, yeah, go ahead. But when you do it, when you're in control, watch of everything. it, or like, oh, this motherfucker wants me to watch him. He's trying to get me to. He's filming himself. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, weird, yeah. man. It's uh, see, that's why I like the podcast because no one can really take credit, man. As soon as there's two people, it's just a thing now. Right. You know what I mean? And it's uh, it's it's not so like you know you're filming yourself, but and essentially you know it's a big thing where you're filming yourself. But but yeah, she called and it was no, she didn't ask, she didn't tell me. She was the only thing she told me is what she's gonna ask me uh, why I decided to do it. Basically, it's real vague. And so there's no prep questions. She's not like, all right, I'm going to ask you this, ask you that. So I thought that's what would happen in the beginning of our Skype. I thought she's going to be like, okay, so I'm going to ask you this, and then I'm going to ask you that. Nope. She was just like, okay, so cool. Looks good. The light's good. Okay, so uh, so why don't you spell your name for me and say it? So I was like, Ryan Warner. She's like, so what? And then, bam, she was right into the questions. Oh. I didn't even realize it. And I was like, oh, here we go. Did she, she told ask me you if you were like, single off of air? What's that? Did she ask you if you were single off of air? You um, single no. must- <laughs> the, uh, she was she was a professional. Oh, she God. was, and that was a very unprofessional, ridiculous, hideous dress she was wearing, and she needs oh, to work Jesus. on that a little bit. Wow. I told her. I told her that, that I liked it. <laughs> what the fuck? She was wearing yellow. She was wearing a I yellow thought, dress, right? It's, I thought that for uh, she going to a, 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 gown? a lighthearted a lighthearted story, it kind of sold the. Uh, it, it's it sold it. 
I don't know. I liked it. I know. But I, yeah, I was. That was a little rude. It was, I, it that was, was uh, real fucking rude. <laughs> All right. Now I see what you're saying. Even I am, I'm not I'm rude. mean. I'm yeah, just you're mean. you're mean. I was at making least, a joke. I, I kind of didn't. I wasn't really associating it with a real person. Well, when you make a joke, there's supposed I to be should. something funny in it. Well, I was <laughs> <laughs> no, Angie. I wasn't arguing with you because if it wasn't uh, like, I'm mean, not that it's controversial, but it's bold. And yeah. the reason it's bold is because a lot of people are just going to be like, God damn, and, and it's yellow. But you get, you know. And she's clearly in her living room. Like, it's not like she's in the, you know, headquarters. Right. And, right. And well, hey, she didn't. Like, yeah, maybe maybe she hasn't been out of her house well, in Well, if she days. showed up at work and that, someone would have said to her, like, maybe you ought to change that fucking thing. But she didn't have anybody to tell her that. <laughs> We're awful. For, oh, <laughs> or. Yeah, now, there you go. No, what? it's too late. You can't You're withdraw now because, or she has those fake friends that are like, yeah, Annie, you should wear that yellow thing that you wore to the Easter party last year. Yeah. And Set then her they up. elbow with their friends while yeah. she's not looking. She's like, oh my God. That I bitch going to wear that wear. today. But we went, we went yeah. from like uh, nice guys to <laughs> jerks. <and> like... <laughs> oh, I'm still, yeah, I'm well, still on her side, man. Yeah, I think Warner, that, I mean, Warner's on her side. Old, you are. If that's not bold, side. nothing is. But I think it's like, you know, and remember April O'Neil from the Ninja Turtles, she wore yellow. Right. She but she wore, wore it jumpsuit. better probably. And that was the 90s. Still. We're in the 2000s and something. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was a 10-minute interview. She told me that. She's like, just be real quick. I know you got things to do. And, you know, and I'm like, um, um. So, so you, yeah. But you're you, right, man. I, I, uh, I definitely made... I, I locked on eye contact with that little what and it's hard to think fuck is that try <laughs> see Josh you wear fucking sunglasses yeah fucker. yeah <laughs> I know I do oh you're and I couldn't sound. I'm sorry bro yeah I, it sounded like you were watching porn and I heard somebody uh, almost like a, a scream that's why I said what the fuck <laughs> oh shit ah. but uh oh Michelle Oh, Shelly's yeah. chiming in. I saw, but the comments hey. fade away if I can't touch my screen. <laughs> it was an ugly dress. It was a yep. prom dress in her living room. Yellow wasn't the problem. Uh, well, I gotta pull that was... back up. Then. I want to see that. Well, gosh. you know, there is that level of like that it. was like a professional uh, Binghamton, you know, TV station, and you know, everybody, all these major late night shows, they're all using the same uh, tricks. You know that we are obviously with better equipment and stuff, but you know it's like you have the, much uh, better. You have this like <laughs> you have this professional like uh, whole organization that had to revert back to like podcasting, which is you know it's out of their realm. It's like the way you see everybody adjusting. You know, Trevor Noah, uh, Seth Meyers went into like five different rooms before he picked like. His attic to do his thing. Yeah, he and, keeps talking know. about his fucking attic door. I'm right. like, if I have to hear your attic door is not that interesting, dude. And then, uh, you know what I mean? yeah, exactly. Like, I also live in a house. Seth <laughs> Myers has fucking he, weird cupboards and, and doors. I, I have a door just like that in a closet. He was a I've lot cooler when he was it. on Saturday Night Live. He's yeah, a fucking. He's all right though. He does all right. I mean, it's oh, just I like him. It's good. His his shit's really propaganda though, man. It's he yeah, has. They're I don't, all... if, if you notice Seth Myers, I like him a lot. But he'll repeat the same phrase four times. Yeah. And it'll be very fast. He'll talk real fast. But you know, and he'll be like, but, but what else do you end... expect from a from a narcissistic blah 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 president that's trying to do this and this and that? And he'll repeat that same right. phrase over and over like he's trying to ingrain it in you. you and, know? That, and I'm like, uh that geez, doesn't like ready. exact that doesn't really work for me. Uh but yeah, you see that stuff, you see this the you know, what he's selling. But I think more oh, than anything, no. what was... he what he's promoting, though, is him is his own self, like the marketing, the branding of what he's doing. You know what I mean? Right. He just yep. took he just took Weekend Update to like a full show because that was his thing. Like, if you really think about him on Saturday Night Live, that's all he really did in his sketches. Yeah, he never had his own. Yeah, he, never he wasn't had his like a skit. sketch art, a sketch actor like that. Well, or no, the guy he's good. Did he's he write, good, yeah, man. Yeah, he's I good. mean. And he's bright, you know. He's and late. He's, uh, New he's York. Late New York people are pretty cool. Late, late and he's night. a fact checker. He won't lie. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, like that's the thing. That's what propaganda. A lot of times, like I use it wrong, because propaganda is like repeating lies, but like like bludgeoning people over the head. And if you lie to them long enough, it's you know it just becomes a thing. But that's not what he does. 
You know what I mean? He just gets like phrases like that are, I mean, basically true. I think she know? was trying to bring back shoulder pads, old Annie Flaherty. She got, it's like <laughs> neon. It's neon it. green, dude. I just went back and looked at it because I. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah. It's See, got, but what they did too is they cropped. They cropped that picture. Um, I wasn't nearly as close as it is like when they when they filmed it. But I think what they did is oh, you could Warner. see I had my books. Oh yeah. I had a bunch of books to you the left. You were sitting on. So you were and, taller. Uh, and they she cropped it out so it's right to the edge of my face oh. because I had and and I had the welcome to shakedown poster uh oh. on the top it's on the top of that shelf they had to they had to cut that out of there <laughs> no nah, it's I didn't even pan up that far but it was right like it was right there but I didn't want to I'm not that bold oh for for those of you listening or watching the the shakedown uh poster says welcome to shakedown Show us your butthole. Show your us cup. your butthole or your cup. And I think that's. Do yeah, we yell that? Uh, we yelled that to this guy that was saying this like an hour and a half later, out in California at two in the morning, and this motherfucker dropped his draws and took his shirt off and whip and 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 like mooned us with his <laughs> and spread his cheeks. It's a tough. That's a tough story to dip into if you can't tell. <laughs> like that's where i would oh, that's where i would serve some justice to uh to have a little run up to the story but yeah oh, that is shit. what happened <laughs> and for those of you who don't know when uh, someone spreads their butthole it's even not at, round anymore it turns into a square even at two in the morning and in the, in the not real lip <laughs> yep that was a dark oh, that was shit. a dark place yeah, twenty yards away. But anyway, anyway, I think they they crapped out the books, and you know, uh, you know, I knew what was behind me. I just had my paint and stuff, but I was like, oh, this book, you know, I'm gonna keep this book here, pull this book out. So I had the Simon Stalling had books, all three of those books, and uh, Obey, uh, and then a fish book, and some other some other stuff. But yeah, how long did it take you to find all of them to get them ready to put them on a bookshelf? No, well, they're my only books. I just don't normally you have know, them on a that's, fucking that's where they, that's, shelf. That's where they go. I just pulled out uh, yeah. other ones. Fucking old books. Because I only had I only had four inches. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just like right. but you, you know pulled out my other you've books. You've gotten and left along those, with left those there. that pretty well through your life. Yeah. So. Yeah, you got it. You know, same thing. It's like it's kind of like your desk. Right. But not at all. Right. Because because I don't you have still any books. Spread all that shit out and it doesn't really say anything about you right that's you a, know what i mean that's, that's, <laughs> all of that shit that half it's probably not even yours that's half the that's half the battle right there man well if you're trying to do that what i was trying to do is get people to connect with me because my hope right. was i put the simon stalin had books up there right and then if someone was like hey i noticed you have those books instantly right. i'm gonna be like well i like you like Anch. if i had a midnight gospel picture and you were to comment on a video of this later on down the road, and you're like, hey, Midnight Gospel, that's, you know, that's what's up. I would be like, well, you just passed, like, you know, ten yeah. fucking phases of how I uh, screen people. Yeah, you just you got know what I mean? You, you, you jump them in the system. That's the same reason you wear T-shirts and shit like that with stuff on it. Josh, I guarantee, well, maybe not we ween, because weird yeah. fucking people like ween. Yeah, they do. I, have but, to, I even have to get rid of them people. Yeah, I've seen you do it. <laughs> you do it because I thought I'm a noob, right? So if I had a, I had a ween shirt that Josh made me, and it's my only ween shirt, and I what a nice love, guy. I love ween, and I really do. Josh, you can attest to that. I yeah. always like I got excited when I started to recognize which yes. songs were theirs, and I don't own a single CD or anything like that. But if you're around Josh for you know 15 minutes, you're gonna hear like three ween songs. Yeah. Um, but anyway, well, you I know had what? Ween, leading I, up to Ween, just to let you know what I've been preparing, not talking, trying to show what you were doing in there. Is uh, I uh, I'm preparing this little segment. Oh, it's going to end up running uh, just a couple minutes, and this is I'm sorry. You can finish though with how much you love Ween. But why I wanted to say this is that this episode ends with a Duncan Trussell song. 
I, lo- I, I know what you're talking about already. So I bet, dude. Good. I don't even know what the fuck they are. My is. favorite. Okay. okay, so all I'll say is the the I was wearing a Ween shirt, and then I you know go out in the world, and then people be like, "Hey, nice shirt, man." And I'd look down and be like, "Oh, it's that Ween shirt." And then I would look back at that person and be like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Like and give them a real. You know what I mean? Like a real represent Ween. You're not just like saying, I just have their shirt. Like you really know Ween tunes and like, well, yeah, but yeah. And it's, and it's like, but then I know like I, it it just bridges a gap of a long, like getting to know you if someone likes Ween and um, it's, it's, you know, and I've always kind of, I I was like, hello, I'm a little weird. Are you? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. And it's a weird symbol to recognize and stuff like that. And, you know, I get that people like people do that now. If it was Twiddle, if I was wearing a Twiddle shirt by accident, you probably would get someone hit with was like, <laughs> "Nice shirt." I would be like, "Okay." You know? right. <laughs> I'm like, We're both queer. I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. All right, yeah. so this is. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna intro this. Um, you know, we talked about it a couple times. This is from uh, the Midnight Gospel. Oh, just a couple. A couple shows oh, I love last it. week. I love it. Uh, you don't talk about it enough. <laughs> so, uh, uh, if anybody still has not checked out this show, please what is it? Do. It's a podcast. Oh, I got Okay, it. you're gonna watch. It's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna hear it, and then you're gonna see the video oh. on your screen. All right. And so you'll kind of be behind the whole uh, thing in All a right. way. Like you, our listeners right. at home, will get a clean uh, transaction. Right. But uh, this is just a clip and uh, just a little intro on it because it's uh, about halfway through. But there's this one uh, section of speech of what they're talking about that I think is just uh, phenomenal. We all love sections. No way that I can say it that well. I know I've tried to say things like this and it just doesn't come out right. Um, That's the beauty about the podcast, too, because what you're talking about is like not podcast, but the Midnight Gospel. It's just people talking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's not, but it's the, not choreographed and, and stuff with, like uh, that. Right, with crazy art. There is some choreograph as far as, like, to right. line up. Not, you know. not their message, though. Because, like I said, randomly they'll have to be like, oh, excuse me, will I do this? And then, bang, they have to kill, like, a zombie or something, and then they're back to their conversation as they're walking through this world. Anyway. Kill a zombie. This store, this uh, is season one. Uh, there's only one season, but this is episode, <laughs> it's episode five. With the, with the and, rose, I'm, I'm, I, had, I had to make a guess. No, it's not no? the rose. You're uh, wrong, This Warner. one is episode five, Annihilation of Joy. Huh. And uh, so what takes place in this one is, uh, you know, again, I can't go over the whole thing, so I'm just going to try and keep it quick, and that's that. The uh, our main don't let Josh pressure you, man. This is our main good thing. uh, Our main podcast. Don't you worry. I'll let you hear it. Our main podcaster Clancy, who is uh, played by Duncan Trussell. He goes to a uh, lost soul world. And in this world, uh, it's a uh, prison of all these souls, you know. So he gets attached to one and he has to, uh, you know, uh, they basically what they do is. He's attached to uh, he's attached to this guy, and this guy keeps doing the same thing every day, trying to escape from this prison. And each time, uh, he might get a little bit further, but uh, or farther out of the prison, but eventually gets uh, killed, reborn, and put back into the exact same place again within that prison. Oh. And again, he tries to get out and escape, and does the same uh, violent you know, uh, aggressive behaviors. And it's just a loop, a loop, a loop. And he keep, he, he maintains his memory too. So he loop. knows what he did to get killed. It's the loop. And continues to do it still. And still continue. Right. So this is the moment when, uh, in the story, when it's kind of like discovered of what the truth, uh, you know, the truth of this cycle. And, uh, I just think it's, uh, you know, exceptionally, awesome well if you like it i'm sure we're gonna enjoy it and then we get to celebrate the end we get to celebrate the end of this clip josh all right Um, i'm gonna fast forward what do you mean we get to celebrate well because we get to listen to a song oh the song is so josh is fucking josh is gonna end up being he's gonna end up being the duncan russell fan after he hears a song i had to look into it those are his songs yeah i know well i the music throughout is some other guy Duncan Trussell writes the ones at the end. When Duncan started his own podcast, that was one of his first things he did. And he sat there with his little mixer and he said, I just bought this Moog, which I'm familiar with the mini Moogs. And he bought a modern one. He probably spent, you know, five grand on this freaking awesome thing. And uh, he just sat there and was just fucking around at the beginning of all his all his podcasts. 
and he would say, I'm not even a musician. I don't even like, I don't even know what this is. And, and he's actually it's in so the last good. few years come along so, so far and like understanding, uh, the way it all works. And, you know, he, he's a comedian, so he writes these funny lyrics and, uh, it Either sounds way. like early modest mouse to me. It sounds like nineties eight and like nineties modest mouse to me when he sings. It's just so uh like what he does with his voice and everything. But yeah, go ahead, man. I um, I can't wait. All right, so Josh, I'm gonna throw you up in the corner, buddy. And later, Josh. <laughs>